Hey, hey, Whipper Snappers, this is Tortimer the Great. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft Lord of the Rings Edition. Uh, we are back out on the road, and we have actually traveled our way into Gondor. Um, I, I fast traveled uh, over to uh, Maring Stream, and uh, from there crossed over into Gond the Gondor Woodlands. Um, and there's uh, some cool stuff here that we'll not get to see because it's not in the mod, but we're gonna we're just gonna head into Gondor. We finally wandered into some Gondorian footmen here. Uh, so I figure we'll talk to talk to these fine gents and see what we can do for them. We do, despite everything, we've got seven hundreds uh, of points with uh, most of the other factions that we are aligned with. But uh, Gondor and Rohan were kind of set apart, and uh, it looks like the stuff we did for Rohan doesn't work for Gondor either. So um, Gondor only likes if us if we kill Mordor people or Dundlings. Um, and since I, I don't feel comfortable wandering into the Dundling homeland and just slaughtering them, um, that pretty much leaves us with uh, Mordor. <laughs> so um, we'll probably have to do that, plus some quests for people. Uh, and as we head into Mord or, uh, Gondor proper, I guess we'll probably find some more people who are interested in doing dealings with us. None of those soldiers seem to need our help. Um, they're, they're good, stout, uh, folks that do their jobs very well, so, um, they probably don't need the help of a wandering wizard and his band of, uh, merry men, uh, but we do have one of each of our factions with us, um, I figured that'd be a reasonably big group at this point, we even have a hobbit along for the ride, um, just cause, you know, I figure Gondor is gonna be reasonably safe, and we're pretty well armored ourselves that... In a pinch, we can, you know, halt all of our armies and uh, take care of it ourselves. Um, so we'll, we'll hopefully try to do that, as opposed to losing everybody, as we, as that's what like happened last episode. Uh, got into an invasion, and uh, I only had the three guys with me, and two of them ended up dead. Um, so we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But um, we are gonna. Continue through the woodlands here. It's a smaller biome section, so it shouldn't take us too long now to get through it. But we've got our trusty red book with us, and we are going to be questing today. We're going to be doing our best to, to try and, and uh, gain the alignment of the Gondorians, um, so that we don't have to spend too many episodes here in Gondor trying to do so. Um, and, uh, and then we can hopefully get there. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, seeing some wood, we must be going over water. Um, yeah, cause, because we'll, we'll definitely want Gondor's assistance. They're right on the border of Mordor. They've dealt with the Scourge uh, for as long as anybody can remember. Uh, and so they're best equipped, I would think, uh, to help our cause. Um, next to the Hjorns, I guess. <laughs> if we just got an army of Hjorns, we could probably handle it no problem. But uh, I want to get everybody in on this so that it's a, it's a victory for all of Middle-earth when we topple Mordor, as opposed to just... Uh, uh, me and my band, so um, don't want anyone feeling left out. Want to flesh out the fellowship a little bit more here. The Gondorians are the final piece to this puzzle. Um, we've got our three elves, two dwarves, uh, we've got a ranger, a, a, uh, a Rohirrim, and a hobbit. Um, and I actually think in the most recent update, which I am now playing on, I was not last episode, I didn't realize an update had come out, um, but we are now on the most recent update, uh, 23.3, I was on 23.2 previously, and they added a couple of different little things, um, <clears throat> and, uh, I don't think it, this was included in the most recent update, but, uh, at some point, they seem to have added, um, well, I can't really look at it right now, when I was spawning in the commanders, Oh, and look, there's some more Gondorians over here, um, as, when I was spawning in the commanders before last episode, when I was rebuilding after the crash, um, I noticed that there's, so we've got the Ranger of the North with us, um, there's a, a land over here, uh, Ithilien, um, and Ithilien is, apparently it has its own, um, like, band of, of rangers? Uh, they, they looked pretty much like regular rangers, um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, apparently there, there are potentially some other rangers we can get to. I don't know that I'm gonna make that a priority, given how honestly worthless the current rangers that we have are. Um, 
because honestly, they're squishier than the hobbits. They just go down like they're made of paper. Uh, and they're kind of expensive comparatively. I mean, for, for as little use as they are, um, they're really just not good. <laughs> All right, so it's a, it's a kind of a toss-up. I don't know that we're going to be going out of our way to get them. If we happen to find some Ithilian Rangers, you know, or whatever, um, we, they don't have a faction thing, so I'm assuming, like, Rangers of the North do, they do not. So I don't know. I don't know how they tie in exactly. Um, but uh, if we find some uh, Ithilian commander, or maybe they just don't even spawn yet. Maybe, you know, that's something that's in creative mode right now, but it's not meant to be implemented yet, so that's why it's not there. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that, uh, I thought that was weird. Uh, God, these guys look cool. I'm a Knight of Gondor. I know. I'm... I'm the Grey Pilgrim. We need quests, Gondorians. We need quests. And or I guess we could just duck over. We're, we're kind of close to the White Mountains. We could always just duck over and, I guess, kill some Mordor orcs or something. But uh, I don't want to just spend... Because th those were kind of few and far between, I remember, from when we were um, doing... We went up there to do some quests with uh, uh, for some of the Rohirrim. Uh, okay, we'll accept that. At least that way, if we're killing mortal orcs, we're killing two birds with one stone. We'll get the points for killing the orcs, uh, and then we'll also get uh, points when we turn in the quest. So that works out for me. Um, I gotta get my people... Oh, I love this boar. Um, uh, I did double check the wiki, and it does turn out that, uh, that there is no armor for boars. Um... He's dying. Um, there are no ar there's no armor for boars, despite them having that little slot there. Um, so that's not something we can do. It would have been cool if we could have protected a rocket boar a little bit, uh, a little bit more. But uh, he's got decent hearts, so we'll just have to uh, trust in uh, his abilities uh, and hope he doesn't die. It would have been cool to see him wearing some armor, though, just in general. Um, but we should be getting close here. Okay, so we're actually in Gondor proper already. Uh, so Pretty much just as wooded as the woodlands, the uh, Gondor woodlands we were just in. In fact, more so. Now we've got giant trees and stuff. So the logic there is lost a little bit on me, but that's all right. We'll continue on. Um, hopefully, we'll find some structures here, or something. Uh, it's a little more concentrated uh, band of achievement get red numerous. Okay, so now we're well. No, I guess we're still. Kinda. All right, hold on. Um, Mordor launched an invasion. Where? We're at. Oh my God! Look at this monster here. Oh gosh. Oh, that's that's horrifying. Oh, I'm losing people already. Oh, come on, troll. You need to die. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, we're going to get our mortar orc, orc kills in, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, another troll. Oh, rocket boar, I got to get you out of here. Okay, retreat. No, rocket boar! No, you... Okay, you should be dead, Mortal Warg. I don't want to hear that from you. Okay. We're full hunger. Oh. Oh, we're losing people left and right. We were not prepared for an invasion. Okay, he's dead. Okay, here we go. Oh, is this Sauron? Good lord, what is this guy doing? I don't know what's going on with him, but he's... He's a beast. Okay, we need to, we need to retreat, we need to retreat. Okay, everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. Uh... Everybody's dying. 
Okay, all right. Woo. Come on, Gondorians, we're in your land here. Oh, I think my entire fellowship is dead now. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, and we've got a whole battalion still following us here. Thankfully, our bow is pretty powerful. And it looks like this Gondorian, well, was helping. Now he's dead. All right, well. Black Uruk. Wow. That was intense. Um, is my bow more powerful than my sword at this point? Good lord. I was having to swipe the heck out of those Borgs previously. Seems like the invasion is over. We're just kind of picking them off at this point. Bring it, you scurvy dog! I beat you both apart and take you both together! was interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's dead. Let's uh, confirm. Oof, that was no good. Um, well, hopefully we can sell work bones to somebody. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, we are not really prepared for Mordor, are we? We are gonna need... I don't know... I'm gonna have to... I mean, because I, I guess I'm buying the lower tier warriors for the most part, but uh, still, though. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, we look menacing. All right, we're going to get rid of all of this stuff, though. Let's add more bones. Oh, that's sad. I don't even want to think about that. Um, Oh, no, wait, that's Rocket Boar. Oh, Rocket Boar. Okay, we're going to take this. This is this is all Rocket Boar here. We're going we're gonna to take this back. Um, and, and we're gonna bury Rocket Boar. We're gonna have him a proper burial. Can I take this Gondorian's horse? No. Okay. Youch. Well, um, I'd say we beat that guy's quest, huh? Let's uh, see, are we close enough? Let's double back, uh, get our points for that, um, while we're still close enough. That was a... Convenient-ish, I guess. Um, we'll have to get a new mount here uh, soon. But let's let's turn in this quest quickly. Uh, it takes a couple minutes. A couple. It takes a bit to to train somebody or to tame another another mount. So I don't want to do that just at present. Although, man, are we slow without him? God, rocket boar. <sighs> Bury him in the yard right next to a poor old Bill. Wish we could have gotten him some armor. I should have dismounted immediately and just tethered him outside of the battle. Oof. Seriously, am I not able to sprint here? Let's go. Oop, that's optifying. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're almost back. We're almost back. Well, at least we get to double dip on those kills. Oh, it doesn't bring back our fellowship, but uh, it'll be helpful in... Man, battles all up and down the street. There's the, there's the book there. Okay, was he... Here he is, he's still hanging out down here. Good, sir. Okay, so a little bit of double dipping there. That works out. We're now above 100 alignment with these guys. Probably still got a fair bit to go, but... Uh, I heard some orcs. They're probably in the mountain reacting to me, but I can't see them. Um, 
probably should go back and grab those dwarf bones too. We can bury, well, no, I don't want to do that. My, if I bury every member of my fellowship, it goes down at this rate. Um, it'll be a, uh, travel south and defeat 28 near Harid, Hadrim. Uh, I guess we'll accept that. We can potentially do that at some point. It'd give us an excuse to go to the Hadrim, I guess. So we can potentially do that. I love Lumbless. It fills my belly. It fills my belly. All right, let's go back. Um, there was a pack of boars over here. Um, or if we find some horses, whatever. Um, I think it would be cool if as long as we're positive alignment with a faction, you can take over an NPC's horse if they die. That would be good. Because at that point, they're broke, obviously. Um, like the horse is broke, it's tamed, it's it's ready to go. Um, and, uh, and it would be nice if you could do that as opposed to just having that horse wander the hillside. All pathetic like. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are all the boars? Or horses, or some sort of mount. I'm not set on a boar necessarily. I feel like it's a little sacrilegious, but uh, I've got some food. Maybe if I feed it some carrots, it'll like me better. Okay. So that's fine. I thought pigs liked carrots. He's quick. He doesn't have as many hearts. That's fine. He just needs some transport. I'm looking for... Well, I'm not looking for rocket boar number five, I guess. Uh, although I guess in this world, rocket boars two, three, and... Four never existed. Okay, so that's rocket board. We're not taking that. Let's grab one of our other saddles here. Pop it on this guy, and then we'll continue on. Let's see, can he jump at least two blocks? Yeah, probably not much more than that, but that's fine. As long as we can do two blocks, we can make it work. Um, all right, some more Mordor scum. need any help welcome to Gondor yeah thank you don't point your bow at me necessarily I would appreciate the whoo man those trolls were tough not I'm not talking obviously those were those were orcs there but not those big mountain trolls we had to fight we fought a couple of trolls in Trollshaw um, but man that was a uh, big armored Mordor Trolls, whatever they were called, Olga High or whatever they were they were called. Yikes! Tough cookies. Alright, so let's continue on here. I guess at some point we probably should get off the road. I think we probably have a better luck of finding structures off the road. Um, but uh, here's some more Mordor. I'm gonna get off the boar. from here? Nope. I think not. A little too far out. Alright. Um, Ain't had nothing but moldy bread for three stinking days. We do need to use our bow a little more frequently. Use our bow a little more frequently uh, would probably help us uh, with taking damage and stuff. There we go. Getting points for guys who can't even see us. Huzzah! Just sniping. You messed with the wrong orc, man scum. Well, you're dead, so I'm thinking it worked out okay for me. Is he in range? Nope. There we go. Well, I said we wanted to get off the road. Can mounts get poisoned? These guys got poison daggers. I know they can do damage to the boar, but I don't know if they can like poison him. I doubt it, I guess. I don't know that I've ever seen 
never seen a mount take damage from poison, but I suppose it's possible. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! Oh wow. Wow. Maybe the rain helped with that? I, I don't know how we survived that. Especially the boar, he took like a half heart. That seems, seems kind of crazy. up a little bit. Poison Mordor Dagger. I'll keep that. Don't need steel. I guess we can use blocks. I don't know that we have any blocks on us. Uh, we pop open valuables, get these silver coins out of my inventory. Throw these extra arrows in here for now. Get rid of the clover. Alright. Whoo, buddy. Here we go. There we go. That made more sense that we survived that one. But, uh. Oh, wow. Did I get blown into a block or something? He was too busy trying to flee me to even attack me. Yikes. Okay, well. Here we go then. Um. Uh, Eat. This looks like we don't have any hunger to refill. Oh, so much junk from the orcs, man. Um, alright. Let's head back toward the road. Just a little bit. Here we go. Yep, boar's still, still going strong. He's got some good health to him. Good speed. I think he'll work out for now. Yeah, I feel like some of these guys take one shot with the bow, and then they take like three shots from the sword. And my sword's not, uh, nothing to schlep at. It's, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's continue on. Looks like it's becoming morning, so that's awesome. Whew. All right. Uh, and bread off my bar. There we go. All right. Gondor is uh, inhospitable for this for the evening time. Even the Gondor. I mean, I guess they're right on Mordor's Mordor Mordor Mordor's doorstep. So it's hard to probably control your lands completely. Um, but, man, they're overrun. I guess I'm two-shotting with the bow, but that would still put my bow at a higher level than my sword. Yes! Got him. Alright, well, he's gone. Whew! I guess we're destined to travel alone. It seems like every time I bring people out here, unless I have, like, a hundred people with me, which is just obscene to deal with, uh, they all get killed. <laughs> uh, but that's why, that's why we're bringing all the factions on board, I guess, um, so that we can, uh, make up a massive army and march on, on Mordor because obviously a little band of, uh, of wanderers is not sufficient to, uh, to, to parry the might of, of Sauron. It's, uh, whew! That's, a uh, that's a spicy meat to ball. Uh, they, uh, they wrecked us a little bit there. Um, alright, so let's see here. Terrain's changing slightly. Little lower trees and, and some greener grass and things. The king may return. Well, we had a ranger in our party, but then he died, so... I don't know if you should be waiting for the king for too long there, gents. Uh, 
But giving me a quest would be a good idea. Maybe I can be the king of Gondor, huh? Maybe? You like it? Welcome to Warm the Grey. I'm here to be friends. You wanna be friends? Let's be friends. More guys over here. Let's check them out, see if they got any quests for us. What did that guy want us to do? Oh, he wants us to kill near Harad. Um, we can do that. I think we can do that. Let's check out these guys over here. I frankly don't even know what kind of structures I should be looking for for Gondor, but I feel like we should have seen something by this point. Um, Gondor is the last great kingdom of men. I would think they... I mean, obviously their cities won't be there, but I would think, you know, some sort of... Forge 4 Gondorian chest point. No, that's not worth my time. Unless I can find a Gondorian smith or somebody who will just send them to me. Or sell them to me. Uh, shame you could not have come to Gondor in happier days. Yeah, well, that's... If Gondor was having happy days, I probably wouldn't be here, would I? <laughs> the whole point is to take out Mordor, so... Uh, I wouldn't feel too bad about it, mate. Um, it's long since I've seen any man of Rohan. I fear it may be yet be long before I see one again. What news from the Rudemark? Bring me one Rohiric helmet from the Horse Lords, and I shall be thankful indeed. Um, well, I... I can give him this, I guess. <laughs> Come here. It's all about making the Gondorians happy, right? Oh, no. I guess maybe because it's enchanted. Um, okay. Well, um, huh. I have a Rohan crafting table. I guess I could craft it, but I don't know exactly what's going to go into it. Um, I don't really want to check right now, so I'll, I'll do that after the episode uh, is over. Because I don't want to have to make a cut for something like that. It's like 38 Mordor spawn. Yep. Forge three Gondorian sword. I'm gonna, I'm gonna decline that. Um, all right. Well, I think that's probably gonna be it for today. We've, we've made good progress, I guess. We've gotten almost a hundred more alignment points with Gondor. I'll probably keep working at it, um, and we'll spend a little bit more time in Gondor. Uh, we'll probably spend one more episode here. Um, finishing up our alignment gathering, kind of like we did in Rohan, spent a couple of episodes um, getting those guys on our side. Uh, and once we've done that, then we can move on and... Uh, he wants a Rohiric helmet as well? Okay, well, while I'm crafting him, I guess. Um, 24 near... 21. We actually will probably, I guess what we'll probably do next episode... Um, where is the near Harad? Haranador... Near Harad Desert. Ooh, it's kind of far away, huh? Uh, well, here's what we'll do. I'll probably travel to the Near Harad. We'll start there next episode, and then once we, once we do some work in there, we can fast travel back to Gondor uh, and finish up there. Because uh, I don't really want to spend all that time traveling out there, because um, that would just take forever. <laughs> And I don't want to do that with you guys, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for quests, keep uh, trying to win over the Gondorians, and uh, and we'll spend some time slaughtering some Haradians next time. Oh, hey! We found something. Has an entrance. Looks like a smithy. You're going to sell me... Gondorian daggers, Gondorian horse armor... Gondorian spear, leggings. Alright. I'll buy all kinds of stuff. What do I have in my valuables? Do I just have iron? Yeah, but I don't have enough to really sell. Alright, um. Ooh! But I will steal this. That's going very slowly. Do I need an axe? Is it a. Uh... Is it a pick? There we go. No, I'm just seeking to rob you. Don't worry. I don't really need any equipment at present. Um, alright. Well, let's dump this where it belongs, I guess. Andorian crafting table goes there. Um, and... Let's actually... 
real quick before we go, um, I'm gonna take this saddle and we'll let this guy go free, and let's um, let's head back to the Hobbit hole for a minute uh, because I'd like to I'd like to put um, I'd like to put Rocket Board to rest, um, and I I think you guys should be here for that. He's meant a lot to me, and I'm sure he's meant a lot to you. Uh, and I figure we should do that before we move on. So, all right. Let's head inside here. We'll need a chest and some cobblestone. Let's see, do I have... Yep, I've got chests. Um, do I have... Need a sign, probably. Let's um, let's dump some of this off here. Put the dirt in there. Dirt in there. All right, so we're gonna need a sign. Er, wait, we need the planks first. Okay, let's get a sign going. All right. Um, then we're gonna need. Okay, we've got a cobblestone wall. Cobblestone fence. Oh, that's all the stuff I had on me when I loaded the world. I figured I'd just throw it in a chest as opposed to wasting it. Okay, I don't know if we've got any um, clay. I had some clay pots. I had a flower on poor old Bill's grave. Uh, I probably will have to go get some clay, I guess. Okay, um, and I probably want... Uh, I don't remember where we got Rocket Boar. I was gonna say, I think we got him in the Blue Mountains, so we could use some Blue Mountain Rock to cover him with, but uh, I'll, I'll have to go get some Soul Sand. So, let's put him right down here. Um, and he's in our valuables box. So weird to say. Rocket board is in our valuables box. All right, so pork chop, saddle. Okay, there he is. Um, for now, we'll put birch wood over him just so his, his grave doesn't get overgrown. There we go, and we'll put that there, that there, get him a torch, uh, and then we'll have a sign. It's a shame we never did this for him last time. Uh, last time he died. Okay, I think he might have wandered off last time. I don't remember what happened to him. Alrighty. Well, uh, I'll have to get some flowers and stuff for him and, and get his, his little plot a little more tidied up. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching. A sad episode. We lost a lot of good men and uh, and, and Rocket Boar. Um, so, uh, tough episode, but we did make some good progress with the Gondorians, and we'll continue to do that next episode. Probably, again, as I said, heading into uh, the Haradian Desert uh, to, to take on some of them. Uh, some of them. That sounds horrible. Uh, some of the Herodians, um, they are, are not good folk, uh, and the Gondorians will, uh, ally with us if we help them destroy them. So, uh, we will probably take care of some of that at the beginning of the next episode, and I'll continue on with the other quests that we've got here and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torn with Grain. You guys have been great. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as it continues on. And uh, we're getting close to the end, so make sure you keep tuned in, and I will see you guys back here next episode. <sighs> Rip Rocket Boar. Have a good one.